Some lucky Fort Meade Cougars, kids from the Fort Meade Child Youth and School Services football program at the Ravens training camp. Hi, I'm Brian Spann. After two and a half months of Dinfos education, Meade Week is back. Also this week, back to school safety and the garrison welcomes a new command sergeant major. These stories and more, but first the Cougars, 6 to 13-year-old members of the post-youth football program, got the field trip of a lifetime with last Saturday's invitation to the Baltimore's Ravens practice and scrimmage with the San Francisco 49ers. We are so happy you guys are here. Are you guys excited to be here? Yes. 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 Wait, are you excited to be here? Yes. yes. All right, I like it, I like it. One line. All right, guys, oh, oh, The kids observed and cheered from their bleachers, but of course the opportunity for autographs would come. I told you. What are you? Get my hat signed. The hat? That's on your head? Yeah. yeah. I watched you last Thursday. Did you? Yeah. Cool. You were awesome. Right. I appreciate it, buddy. I try hard. You were awesome. One cougar pretty much summed up the afternoon's experience. Oh, oh, what? Hey. Yes. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? What are you saying? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The football team's field trip serves as a reminder that the school year is ready to start. Once again, we check in with the Garrison Safety Office on not just traffic and bus safety issues, but backpack safety as well. The primary thing we need to be concerned about is speeding. Um, for the last three months, traffic has been going maybe a little faster than usual, and now all of a sudden school is coming back in. You have to be aware that the speed limit in the school zone is 25 miles per hour. I always, I'm a big believer in erring on the side of caution, do no more than 20 miles per hour. Paying attention to school buses and their signals is also very important. One of the things drivers need to be aware of now that if they're following the school bus, when you see that yellow caution sign, it's there for a reason. The school bus is actually getting ready to stop to either load or unload students. So as you're following that bus, you must be aware of that. Although this next item doesn't seem like a safety issue, thousands of school children suffer from back and spinal issues because of heavy backpacks. So many kids are getting heavier books these days and they're having more back problems at younger ages. So be aware of having a light backpack and you don't try to overstuff it. And you don't want the backpack to be more than two inches above your waistline. And it should never ever be more than 10 to 15% of your total body weight of the student. For more on back to school safety, just go to our homepage at www.ftme.army.mil and click on safety. In other news, the McGill Training Center hosted a change of responsibility ceremony this week as the Fort George G. Meade Garrison welcomed a new Command Sergeant Major. Outgoing Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder thanked Team Meade. For the community outside the fence, that Team Meade. I've never seen an installation like this with the relationships it has with its local community. And that was not something that I did. That was something you had done before I even got here. I hope that we've grown better in the time I've been here with Colonel Rossi and Colonel Foley. And I know you're going to continue to do better with Sergeant Major Forbes and Colonel Foley. The service members, the families, the civilians that work and live in our community, your focus on Fort Meade has made it what it is today the preeminent center for information, intelligence, and cyber operations. And it's going to continue to do so in the future. This garrison will continue to grow, and your community is going to grow along with it. So, our Major Moore, thank you for coming out and seeing this change of responsibility. I appreciate you taking the time, and please let Mr. Schoenbeck know, I want to thank him personally for the support that he's given us since we've come underneath Central Region in the past year. We've seen a dramatic increase in the resources that are coming to Fort Meade and it's because of the effort that you and he have made to make sure that this organization is recognized by the Army and resourced properly. Thank you. Team Meade, I'll always be a member of Team Meade, and I want to thank you all for everything you've done to support me while I've been here. Have a great day. Cool? New Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes, most recently the Command Sergeant Major of the 72nd Expeditionary Signal Battalion in Schweinfurt, Germany, looked to the future. Members of the garrison team, we will lead the charge by striving for excellence in everything that we do and that we will provide quality service to the Fort Meade community. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. It's great to be back. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.